Hey guys, my name is Ian McCall. I'm a former mixed martial arts world champion, UFC fighter. Uh, now I have transitioned into a scientific researcher on the science of sports performance and all things psychedelic. Uh, grew up here in Orange County, this lovely place, and I got into fighting at a very young age, martial arts since I was four, um, just raised around sport. Uh, Went professional when I was 18 years old. Just, what else am I gonna do? Uh, and had a year that last, or had a career, I should say, that lasted 16 years. Um, I accumulated a lot of damage through my life: um, traumatic brain injury, snowboarding, uh, things like that. And through my cannabis story, I have not only healed myself, but my daughter, London. Uh, my whole life in healing started with her. Started with me running experiments on myself, my daughter, and my best friend. And who is another former world champion from this area, uh, Shane Rosario, rest in peace. Love you, big guy. Um, but when you are at the top of your career, the top of your life, and you have a daughter that you're raising, uh, and she falls ill because of your craziness and your actions, uh, things I've learned in my, my new life in science is that um, stress can bring about things in your child. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. We stressed her out, she got juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, and then it all started. It was uh, getting her off of things um, like methotrexate, which is a chemotherapy drug they were giving her for her immune system, uh, painkillers, uh, anti-inflammatory drugs, uh, when your daughter's two and they're giving it this to her and you see her hair start to thin and, and these things start to happen with her, um, her biology, it scares you. So I, I contacted every, every doctor, nutritionist, whoever I could, scientists, um, and they told me you need to get her off this stuff. And being a person that was raised around cannabis, um, my father smuggled cannabis around the world. <laughs> Surprise. I don't know if you knew that about Grandpa. Um, during the 70s. And, you know... Um, I always knew the benefit of it. I always did. So, of course, it was right around the time Dr. Sanjay Gupta came out with his interview on 60 Minutes. I was already giving her cannabis. Um, and, of course, you know, people at the time turned to me and said, why aren't we giving this to her? And I said, I am. Because uh, I know it works. I know a thing or two about Rick Simpson oil and CBD and THC and how they convert in the body and work. Um, and so we did that. And obviously diet and exercise are first. Um, you have to know how to eat right. You know, have to know how to move your body and constantly do it, especially if you have as much energy as we have. Um, it's a must. Uh, you know, your body's going to become stagnant if you don't move, especially if you're injured or you have an inflammatory response like she had. Um, being stagnant is no good. So uh, that's again where myself, I led it into performance. Um, I started working with a company called Elixicure. Uh, we have the world's first and only FDA BSCG and GMP certified lab and product here in Orange County. Um, no one else is even close. So that's why we work very closely with uh, organizations like the UFC. Uh, one of my mentors, Jeff Nowitzki, the Golden Snitch. Um, he makes sure that these bottles are at the UFC Performance Institute. Every, we get, they get a package every month from us. Uh, and they have, even working with a, a larger brand like Aurora, um, who completely blew their deal with them. So good job, guys. Um, you know, it, it, this, this industry has to be responsible. This is not about money. I didn't get into this for money. I got, got into this to, to help fix myself, my daughter, my, my loved ones. Um, and, you know, th this industry is still real uh, interesting and shady in that sort of way. It's business. You know, you get this, this capitalist things happening and money, 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 money. It's not what this is about for us. Uh, you know, we grew up in Orange County. Money's, it's just, you know, it's what we're around here. If you can't make it here, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so that, again, that's not the issue here. This is about healing people and, and making people better. For me, it goes into sports performance. So most people don't understand, or maybe they've seen an article, or a few have read the article. Um, there's two different studies, I do believe, out of Canada uh, that show that THC and CBD uh, both blunt the production of proteins in your body that help COVID bond to your immune cells. Um, so you should be ingesting cannabis orally. Uh, you should be smoking it 
as much as you can right now because we have a crazy virus out there. It'll help you stay safe and alive. Um, then when it comes into performance, uh, obviously cannabis is a painkiller. Uh, THC, all the different alkaloids in there, CBD and everything, uh, huge with neuroprotective benefits. Um, so, you know, whatever trauma you sustain in sport, because that's what happens in sports, we go in there and we brutalize ourselves for entertainment. Um, we also give and receive PTSD in there um, in many forms. So, you know, if you can get down the, the inflammatory response in your body, cut down the pain, uh, be able to uh, open up more of a third eye flow state sort of thing, that, that's, that's key for, for performance. Um, obviously, you can't take things like steroids and, and whatnot because that is cheating. Um, but with something like cannabis, you know, it's plant-based. Uh, like I said, not only studies are showing it's protecting you and healing you, but uh, there, is, there is a lot of, a lot of uh, performance benefits. You know, you can actually physically stretch deeper, which I think has to do with threshold of pain and whatnot. But, uh, you know, there's a lot, of, a lot of science being done right now. It's pretty interesting. With me, I've been ingesting cannabis for a very long time. And I'm going to tell you this for the first time in your life. I started smoking when I was your age. Yeah, you're eight years old. That's not good. But you've been ingesting cannabis since you were two. Um, cannabis has never done me wrong or her wrong. It's the other drugs you put in your system. As she knows, I had a, a problem with painkillers, you know, opioids throughout my career. Um, those don't kill pain. Those just mask you, make you numb. You know, this is, again, everything in the body that's bad leads back to inflammation. IBS, depression, whatever it is, injuries, a rash uh, from a plant. You know, uh, it's an inflammatory response that you can openly see. That's, that's, that stuff goes on in your entire body. So again, knocking that down um, is a huge part of what I call the McCall method. Uh, it's Sounds a little egotistical. My building, you know, my, my, my name is on the side of a building or a business, I should say. Um, this isn't about me. It's about the people, the platform that I have to, to bring in people like my fiance, who's been a scientist and UCLA professor for 26 years, um, to uh, people that mentor me through philosophy and, and Greek mythology and, uh, you know, a, a, a lot of things that have to do with psychedelics from a long time ago, uh, like Robert Forte. Uh, breath coaches like Casper Vandermeulen who were doing psilocybin assisted breath work out in Holland. Um, this all led to me getting a, an episode on HBO Real Sports shot on myself and my team of shaman, uh, again my fiance, um, and we got to work with two vets and myself and another fighter. Um, and you know this is, a, this is a psychedelic psilocybin ceremony, um, but again Cannabis is huge in what I do because it, it will relax the body, relax the brain. It'll help you get rid of inflammation. And, and for an athlete, for a high-performance vehicle like myself um, or her, you know, it's it's when you're when your body's inflamed, you can't move right, you can't think right. Um, so, yeah, cannabis is huge. It's 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 been a medicine that I've used most of my life. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's never done me wrong. Uh, well, growing up, my mother was a chef, is a chef. Uh, she was a, a chef for Robert Mondavi, actually. So, grew up around food and wine, um, and I've looked at cannabis as my wine. I don't drink alcohol, really, even though I'm wearing an alcohol shirt. Um, I, I don't like alcohol. It's never done me right. So, um, for me, I, I, I look at cannabis as, as, like, fine wine. You know, I bring home a $100 bottle of wine. Um, you know, this is a $4,000 pound of, my, of, of, of mushroom. This is a $4,000 pound of, of cannabis. You know, it's, it's, it's different, it's better. Um, as food, yeah, I mean, grandma, the kids know, you know, don't touch the, uh, there's certain products in the fridge, certain chocolates or whatever you don't touch because those, you know, grandma made them, those have cannabis in them. Um, you know, so it, it's, it's always been a part of our life. I mean, and again, uh, very healthy growing up here. Like I, I, my parents were world traveling hippies that uh, were extremely healthy. And not only know how to cook the food properly, but cook the best food you could. Um, so that was always a, a part of my life growing up. Um, obviously having the means to afford a bunch of supplements and trainers, and, and I mean, you wouldn't think that this area in Orange County would breed a psychopath like myself who wanted to climb into a cage in my underwear to fight someone for blood money, but uh, became the best in the world either way. It was something I excelled at, and I guess I was just a little bit different. Um, 
but you know, Orange County, you have a beach culture. Beach culture is very physical and violent, so I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> Uh, with most sports, drug testing is a, uh, it's an IQ test. Pretty much all sports, it's an IQ test. Um, so if you are not responsible enough to know your way around testing um, for things like cannabis, I mean, even most steroids, I'm sure, I know that for sure, because I've seen UFC take USADA and use it as a tool to make sure no one's using those performance enhancing drugs. But they don't, they don't care about cannabis, really. Cannabis really. Um, you can have, I think it's 150... Uh, nanograms per milliliter of urine or something, oh, I can't remember the numbers, um, but you can, the UFC is all about people smoking cannabis. I mean, they, they're okay with it, it's just, they don't want you performing on it because again, people like myself haven't shown enough science behind it. And they're a company that reaches out to me and asks me questions about this. Um, had they, they invite me to fights uh, to talk to fighters about cannabis and psychedelics and things like that. So, you know, I, I take my, my new career in, in scientific research very, very, very um, carefully and also with pride because no one else is doing what I, what I do out there, really. Um, so it's, it's interesting. It's fun. You know, I don't have a, a, a doctor in front of my name or a PhD, so I don't really give a shit. I don't have anything to lose. <laughs> so I can put my neck out for people and, um, and help them and just be a blue check mark. You know, people out there with a blue check mark, be responsible. Uh, whether it's for voting or whether it's for health and wellness or spirituality, um, right now is a big time to really be a good person. You know, we're, we're, we're having to, sure, vote against two evils, um, but there's a lot in between there, you know, and, and use this time like I have myself to get a master's degree in psychedelics or, or scientific research of this type. I just, I just, I beg of you. Well, thank you guys for listening to our story, and thank you for giving us this voice on this platform, Immersion Talks.